So recording, remember I can hear your thoughts. So be nice. All right, so to prepare your design, I mentioned last week that you do not have to collaborate. You're not required to collaborate with someone at least. But when you're getting ready your for your design to be printed, for example, this is my t-shirt template that I've opened up in Illustrator here. A lot of you are curious about if you can print on multiple parts of the shirt, as well as if it's just a straight kind of like Iron Man arc reactor, like it's only dead center in the front of your shirt. That is not the case. So as you can see with my example here, I've used my uh, my half. This is my my designing that I just did this morning. Um, this is contained within the borders, within the like workspace of the template on my right hand side. What I did with the template over here is make a duplicate copy so that I can show you how these exact things taking up eight and a half by 11 are going to be cut out because they get printed on paper. And then I'm just going to have to press my design two times, once on the front for the little like cross section brain thing, and then once on the back for the typography that I have put together here. So this is totally possible. The only rule is that you have to stay within the bounds of your half of the um, the artboard templates, mugs, that's not the case, nor is it decals. This is only for t-shirts, which is why I'm showing you guys this. Um, but when you have, once you have finished your design in your version of the file, and you've maybe you could use a nearby neighbor or one of your friends in class or one of the people you know from a different class, we need to fill up this space on the right here so that it prints nice and evenly. So let's imagine that this is my partner's design. This is another one that I'm going to print to make sure my uh, my test or my, the ink is ready and fully calibrated and stuff like that. And it's also contained within the bounds of the partner's half of the uh, the design here. And I just did a I just copied this little T-shirt thing over to the other side so I can kind of get a view of how this shirt's going to look once I have it finished up here. And it's really as simple as that. Just making sure that you have when you're ready to submit more so when you're ready to print um, then submit. You can submit one with just your half of the design on it. But when we go to the printing stage, you do want to have this combo situation so that you uh, that we save paper and that we save ink. So since this is a PDF and not an AI file by default, when I hit Control S, it's going to open up in Acrobat once it, uh, once it decides to. Control S, perhaps. All right. It's going to be difficult this morning. We're going to go File Save. A lot of there it goes. And it's going to open up in my PDF reader here. You can see it's an eight and a half by eleven. This is how it's going to come out of the printer. It'll be flipped so that the heat transfers uh, the correct or mirrored, I mean, so that when you transfer it to the shirt, it reads correctly in the language and design that you've written it in. But it does print backwards so that you know it actually looks the way that you're uh, you're trying to do. But this is what I would end up submitting to Canvas. Canvas, if you look at, uh, let me pull up your thread here. I just finished it. Um, here we go. Canvas, the final is only accepting AIs and PSDs. So these are where you'll upload a raw file if you scroll all the way down to the bottom. Also, just a reminder, if you're curious about how the uh, actual printing half happens of this project, the video sections got one for each. So you can see kind of what, uh, what you're looking forward to design or creation wise, but this is only accepting the AI files or Photoshop documents. This will not accept exports. You do not need to export them. You can just straight, good morning. You can just straight upload the raw, whether that's from Photoshop or Illustrator, and uh, I can work with it because this is the one time that I actually prefer the raw file as compared to a raster. So that's all I have to show you. So you guys kind of have a scope of what your project will look like when we take it to print. Um, We'll go over how to cut it out once we actually get back into Hendrix room. You can print on multiple sides of the shirt. You can print all over the shirt in different spots. Just keep in mind that you will need to heat press it every time, which is time consuming and just more involved of a process for you, but it is possible. Um, and if you wanna see how I did this back front sort of thing, I just copied and pasted this, but I can show you on your computer as well. So, Keep working, keep designing, keep finishing up until Friday, uh, and we'll start printing next week. Seniors, we can print before that, um, but everybody should be done by Friday. 
so that we can have our stuff ready to go before the school year ends. All right. The rest of this time is yours. Please use it wisely. Make something that you're proud of. Make something that looks cool. And I'm excited to see what you've come up with. Thanks. Bye. Oh, that's the wrong button.